Right, hello people, my name's Ollie from LondonPatchwork.com. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate the bass line from Daylight, which is a track by The Disciples. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick demo of what the finished patch is going to sound like. Okay, so I've um, got the MIDI pattern programmed in already. Um, I'll upload this file so you can download it from the website. Um, if you want to copy it in, there you go. Just pause the video and copy that in. Starting on a new initialized serum patch. And firstly, I'm going to change this oscillator to a basic shape and leave it on sign. Um, I'm going to turn it down one octave. Um, the unison is going to be one, so all these detune and blend can be left. They'll be ignored. And we're going to set this, this warp um, modulation to FM from B. And then we're going to turn oscillator B on. Set this to a basic mini change the warp to window half and turn the volume all the way down. Oh, I'm going to turn this sub oscillator on as well and make it direct out, leave it a sign, turn it down one octave and just turn the level up a tiny bit to somewhere just over 80, about 82 is good. So envelope one, um, I'm going to give this a bit of an attack. Um, just so it doesn't clip at the beginning. So 14 milliseconds-ish. You can't get this exactly right. If you hold shift, then it becomes more sensitive. Hold on the uh, envelope one can be all the way down. You're gonna get this decay at about 700-ish milliseconds. 704 is good. You're gonna turn the sustain down to somewhere about 75, minus 75, minus 76 is good, and turn this release up to about 90, 90-ish, 90 90-ish, 92 will do. Envelope 2, we're going to turn the attack to zero, the hold can stay zero, the K we're going to have it about 218, 217's good, it's going to turn the sustain all the way down and just give the release a little bit anywhere, you can turn it right up if you want, anywhere over a second will be perfect. Okay, so yeah, get this filter turned on and we're going to change this filter to a um, low 12 and going to get that cut off down to somewhere about 250 256 ish and get this resonance up to about 55 percent there we go 55 percent make sure this key tracking is turned on um, the drive, the fat can go right down, pan can be ignored, in, so you want that in the middle. Mix all the way up. Now we're going to connect the... Um, oh, hang on, get that cut off back down. Get that cut off down to about 250-ish. Should be perfect. And we're going to connect envelope 2 to the cut off here. And we're going to have that set to about 23. That should be about perfect. Also, we're going to get the FM on this oscillator A. And we're going to turn it up so it's the warp is at about 29%. And then connect envelope 2 to it. And we'll 
have that about somewhere about 19. There we go. Right, so I think that's the oscillators, the filter and the sub. So we'll have a quick listen and see how this is starting to sound. I'll turn it down a bit in case it's loud. Okay, so it's starting to get there. But now we're going to jump in with some effects and um, try and make this sound a bit closer. So. Oh, hang on, I know why, it's not sounding quite right. Turn oscillator B's octave up one. That's better. Okay, so now that's done, we're gonna jump into the effects uh, window. And firstly, I'm gonna put a chorus on and I'm gonna get this chorus rate up a little bit. So it's about 0.20 Hertz. So it's just slowly moving. I'm going to get this delay turned down to somewhere about 0.3. Get delay 2 up to about 2 milliseconds. Great. Have this depth all the way up to 26. Have this feed about 13%. Okay, going to have the low filter turned down to about 135, 136 is perfect. And get this mix turned down to about 40%. Right, next I'm going to chuck an EQ on here. I'm going to put that up directly after the compressor and um, this left hand side here we're going to take the gain down to minus 24 so all the way down going to turn it to a notch or peak type um, going to get the Q at about 62% so just turn that up a couple of percent there and turn this frequency down to about 125 There we go. Right, next I'm going to stick a compressor on this. Um, I'm going to get the threshold at about minus 30. So quite a low threshold. And get the ratio up quite high to 6 to 1. I'm going to get this attack. Turn that down to about 8. 8 milliseconds so it's got a little bit of an attack before the compressor cuts in I'm going to turn this release to about 120 that's fine and I'm going to get the gain and turn it up some to about 14 14 or 15 decibels um, right then after that I'm going to put a reverb on this and we're going to get the size at about 40% there we go going to get the pre-delay to zero and then we're going to get the low cut to about 28% perfect um, the damp 26% so I just took that down a couple of notches High cut, I'm going to put this up to 74. Leave the width at 100% and the mix is going to be at about 13. So just a little bit of delay in the background, a little bit of reverb in the background, sorry. Right, and now I'm going to stick a filter on this. Make sure the filter's last in the chain. So you want your chain to be in this order. Chorus, EQ, Compressor, Reverb, Filter. And then I'm um, going to turn this filter type to a multi. And we're going to have that set as a low high 6. I'm going to get the cutoff 
to about 220 hertz 223 is good get the resonance all the way down drive all the way down to zero frequency I'm going to put this at about 50 percent and have the mix turned all the way up right so now let's have a listen and see how this is sounding I'll turn it down a little bit in case it's too loud Yes, yeah, so it sounded pretty good. You can have a mess around with this and uh, give it a bit less reverb or a bit more reverb or stick a delay on or something, get creative. But yeah, that's the finished sound. So um, go ahead, subscribe, like, dislike, tell me what you thought. Um, yeah. Take it easy. Peace.